This episode of Tools in Action is brought to you by the Ego 56 Volt Power Plus system, available at the Home Depot. For more, visit egopowerplus.com. What's up you guys, welcome to Mower Week. Today's Mower Week, or this week, Mower Week is brought to you by the Ego Power Plus system, 56 volts of electric power, electrifying multi or multiple uh, products they have. You have chainsaws, lawnmowers, weed whips, snow blowers. It's just getting bigger and bigger. Click below, check it out, it's available at the Home Depot. So, we want you guys, that's who's bringing you Mower Week this week, so we want you guys to check that out. Now, today we're going over something very interesting. Very interesting. Echo, 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 echo. I should make it try to do that on the film. Make it echo. echo yeah. Echo. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, today, you guys, we're going over the Echo 56, 58 volt mower. Um, pretty much, it's from a company called Echo. They're kind of known in the industry. Uh, big Home Depot brand. They're there a mm -hmm. lot. Um, you know, are they the top brand? Are they the, the crappiest brand? No, they're pretty much a mainstream brand. I would say. What yeah, would I say? mean, I can't say I'm a huge fan of uh, Echo, but that's just me. Yeah, well, I had a chainsaw that went premature, and really, I just, so did yeah, I. And I just, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. So, so did I. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. So wow. when that happens, but I'm that kinda, was years ago. I mean, that I was still, like but eight I haven't gone back ago. to them. That's just personal opinion. I tried to get over that when we did the lawnmower a week, you know. And I got to admit, there's a couple things I really like about this mower. Some things I don't like about. How do you guys? I know. Don't, are you guys like that too? If something just puts a bad taste in your mouth, are you just like? Forget it, I'm never dealing with them again. I am, yeah, because you know what? Yeah, I don't have a lot of money where I can go test all new things all the time. So if I get something and the thing breaks on me, I'm Here's my worst else. story, and okay, and I'm not bashing this company. They're probably a great company. Aaron's, A-R-I-E-N-S. Okay. It was a true snowstorm. I went to Home Depot. I bought a snowblower, right? Yeah. Like during the snowstorm. I brought it home. I turned on the snowblower. I started going down my driveway, and the snow just kept just like coming out of the chute and getting jammed. It wouldn't go anywhere, right? So it said, before you return to the store, call this number. So I called this number. It was during a weekday, middle of the day, nobody answered, right? So I'm like, whatever. So I ended up shoveling my driveway. Next day, this lady calls me back, and she's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, that's a belt. We don't cover that. And I'm really? Thinking, this thing's brand new. Yeah. I just got it from Home Depot. It was the first thing. You don't cover a belt? She's like, take it to a service center. It'll probably cost you 80 bucks. Yeah, okay. I just took it back to Home Depot. Home Depot was like, yep, we'll take it back. So then they got their thing back. But you know what? It's customer service like that, and that kind of burned me, and I would mm. never go back to that brand again. And oh. now every time I even see an Aaron's, I'm like, ugh. Yeah, no, I just exactly. just like that brand. And then, and that's bad, because really, they could be a great brand. They could be. And they just have a bad employee, and they just had a bad... Thing, you well, know? same thing with Hero. Echo could be great, but I had a problem with the chainsaw, so I, I was never tried contacting Echo though because it was out of warranty. My chainsaw. Oh. I mean, it only lasted like a year and a half, but I hardly used it. Yeah, no, nah, it was just something that. I so, anyways, going. back to Echo, the Echo 2016. Um, yep. This is their first foray into the uh, cordless lithium-ion lawnmower industry, you guys. And uh, gotta say, this thing actually was powerful. Powerful. I think it does a great cut. Does a great job at uh, bagging too. So I mean, it was a cut quality. It was nice. There wasn't a lot of grass that was left over or pushed down afterwards. It actually cut through the grass. Right. Which like. Yeah. No. It was actually really good. Uh, a couple things that I don't like about it is individual 
Yeah, uh, it's the only mass more we tested this week where it's individual height adjustment for each wheel. Everyone else has had one lever where you just do it and it goes down to two inches, whatever you want to. Yep, individual height adjustment for each wheel and it has these things. We hate those thumb things. Um, does that make it cheap? No, it no. actually feels quality. Even though the deck feels like a harder plastic than most others we yeah. tested, they were softer. When I mean softer, you know, like if you, you get a scrape on a corner, you know how it'll just peel back a little bit? Yeah. This one feels like it would chip rather than mm -hmm. peel back. But don't, that hasn't happened. You know, I don't know. This is just aesthetics. This is what we go off of, and we're just checking it out. Yeah. Um, other than that, it was a really good little mower. I mean, yeah, it's it did pretty really neat. good. Now, it holds two batteries in here. It only uses one battery at a time. If the one battery dies, there's a little key in here. You just pull it out, turn it the other way, and the other battery starts working. So it does not automatically switch over. So... I don't know. I thought it rolled nice. I thought it did a good job. I like the plastic deck more than I do the, the metal decks we've tested on that just for weight. It is reinforced, so it's not like it's just a thin piece of plastic that comes down. It's got kind of like a waffle cone or whatever you want inside. So there's like, you know, pockets in there. So I like that aspect of it. But... Uh, <laughs> Phew! Bless ya. Hey, bless sucks ya. being sick in the summer. Yeah, it does. But I mean, the main things is... You know, it does a good job cutting. My only question, too, is I've never had a lot of experience with the Echo batteries. I don't know who makes the batteries for them. I think TTI makes them. Does it? Okay, I don't know what type of quality of a battery it is, if it holds up. I haven't gone online and really looked to see. But if you do go see the reviews, the user reviews, it's got a lot of reviews at four and a half. So, I mean, that's pretty hard to beat when you got a lot of people saying that. But like Dan said, we're not accusing Echo. We don't know whatever, but... You never know how much reviews are really true. So, especially tools in action. After you guys are done watching this, man, you better be like, "Oh my god, these guys are just." If you're still watching it now. Nah. So. No, you guys, we just try to be as honest as yeah, possible exactly. with this stuff. You know, I mean, we are sponsored by Ego, of course. Am I saying the Ego is better than this? No, I'm just saying that, you know, every mower has its own place with you. Exactly. Everybody looks for different things in mowers, okay? Exactly. If you buy this mower, are you going to go wrong with it? Even though Echo burned us years ago, I would still buy it. I would still trust Echo and go and get this mower. And, you know, honestly, it's not a bad mower. It's not. It seems, even though it's got it, the it's same It's not one of the most expensive ones, is it? No, this one's three ninety nine. Yeah, which is pretty good. Yeah, even though it has these knobs on there, compared to the Cobalt and the Greenworks, this one feels more solid than right. those two. Granted, I don't know, maybe they make it for Echo. But, it, I mean, I it's know. like the same things almost, It does man. Everybody's same. got the same thing. So it's so wrong. hard in this industry to see who makes what for who. Yeah. Greenworks could make it for them. Who knows? Yeah. No, I doubt it. You don't think so? No. I think TTI makes this. I'm almost pretty sure TTI makes it. You think so? Yeah. Hmm, might be right. Yeah. South Carolina. I mean, if they're making them, well, yeah. Whatever, you guys. Let us know what you guys think. What do you guys think of Echo at the bottom? I know Pat just bought an Echo saw. He loves it. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, you know, companies change over time. You know? I mean, there was a time when Milwaukee used to suck. You know, oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, now they're a great company. It's just companies go up and down. You know, when Ford used to suck in the 90s, remember getting a Ford? Oh, and they God. still suck. I can't believe I would drive a Ford the, today. Yeah. No, but GM was good back in those days. Now GM kind of sucks. No, I'd take a GM any day over a Ford. Well, why do you drive a Ford? Because I made a bad decision. Shut up, Eric. If you pull up one day with a Chevy, your attitude is That's what I'll be. I'll either be in a Silverado or a Sierra. <laughs> Hashtag TIA crew, you guys. Why? I just think they're a better Dude, built truck. Okay, better built. Why? Because they suck so much that they have to take taxpayer dollars to stay in business? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> go ponder uh, that one. Yeah. Tools in action. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.